reason that I chose to go to UH Manoa is for a couple of reasons. Uh, one of which is I'm very much interested in studying Native Hawaiians. Uh, it's something that I feel personally connected to as someone with Native Hawaiian ancestry. But I'm also interested in Asian Americans as well, specifically from Hawaii. Basically, I, being a local woman and a local woman of color living in Hawaii, I believe that we need more representation of local scholars in higher education. And being in Hawaii, I think that this is a perfect opportunity. And the University of Hawaii at Manoa has a great reputation in terms of sociology. I had a lot of interest in uh, Pacific Islander research. I had done some work in a Pacific Island country and then I thought UH Manoa was perfect for that as far as location and the interest in Pacific Islands in Asia. So that's basically why I chose this program and because of the focus on sort of medical sociology. Um, I would say anyone who's looking to do critical criminology, which is what I do, uh, has a home here at um, UH Manoa's sociology program. You have really awesome faculty members like Nita, like Katie Irwin, like Ashley Rubin, who are sort of the premier faculty members in that field. So we're really lucky to have those folks here. Oh, a lot. A lot of, a lot of skills. Everything from you know, interview skills from like one-on-one -on -one interviews or focus groups or something kind of like uh, you know, a professional interview, uh, how to run a podcast, me and two other uh, UH students also run a sociology podcast and all those skills I learned here. Um, I also learned a lot with statistics and that's another, I mean obviously I didn't know that coming here but once I was actually here, uh, that was something else that I really valued that a lot of the um, professors here had a lot of research skills and methodologies that you can use to kind of advance your studies or advance your knowledge in anything that you're really interested in. I also getting a lot of community organizing skills because at our department we have graduate student organization uh, GSSA which we try to promote um, which we try to bring like our graduate students together and try to improve our student body and by just organizing events or think about workshop or things we can do at the department. So be able to like spend a time with like our peers who care about like similar issue trying to improve department and also uh, community like social justice issues. Some of the skills that I've learned at um, the sociology department as a graduate student is really working alongside the community. One of my favorite types of research is the community-based participatory research and ethnography, where I get to work closely with community-based organizations, community members, and being a community organizer myself, it is a great way to practice applied sociology where your research actually has a direct impact on the needs of the community members. My interest is in, in understanding social divisions of how um, uh, technological changes, social media and uh, global processes impact uh, societies in a way that they are uh, almost torn in half to an extent that they don't uh, understand each other's language and they uh, just erode the um, uh, space for compromise. And uh, so that I want to understand how this could be overcome and what kind of social order uh, we're looking forward to, uh, to accommodate the, uh, the current uh, divisions. So I'm doing a lot of work at the uh, Cancer Center in a lot of that is public health approached. And my sort of input is behavioral science, which I really have learned a lot, I think is a big takeaway from sociology, is looking at like um, barriers to cancer research, barriers to health access, but through like a sociological lens. So looking at it through like social determinants of health, things like that. So I think that's a really, really speaks to the power of sociology and how it can be applied to different fields. I've used a lot of the stuff that I've learned through the program and you know, throughout my academic career really, um, to kind of help shape those questions and surveys to really capture that voice that I think a lot of surveys miss when it comes to working with communities that I think is uh, because of sociology and that like worldly focus that it has. I think there is a long list of things uh, which I like about this department. Um, I would say that with every class, with every lecture, 
uh, I get to discover myself more and more. When I first came here uh, in this department, I didn't have any specific research project, but my professors and specifically my supervisor helped me to explore my research interest and helped me to think and push, push me beyond to think uh, the box. Uh, I, like, I think the greatest part about being sociology department is uh, first of all, of course, the people. I enjoy all the, I enjoy the, uh, to enjoy, but I really like the staff and my peer students in the sociology department because, uh, you know, in the class we can have clashing views and even, you know, might escalate into a quarrel, but after that, we will just talk friendly and it's just academic exchange and frankly speaking I really appreciate that kind of feeling that clash of minds and the staff and the faculties they are very helpful they are very kind and well, our department is a little bit smaller than a lot of sociology programs at a major state school and that means that you get to take a lot of interdisciplinary classes, you get to know faculty and students in other departments in the College of Social Sciences. And so for me, that really enhanced my experience here. It allowed me to tailor my PhD to what I was interested in. And uh, it also meant that I worked really collaboratively with my dissertation committee folks. I really liked the research diversity uh, that the department had, everything from you know, cultural studies to medical sociology, or criminal justice system, uh, politics and pop culture. I really thought that was just an inviting kind of atmosphere to be in for sociology, which is you know, the study of society. Well, UH Manoa is a very unique environment, I think, because um, um, it's just, first of all, it's Hawaii, and it's, um, it's a very kind of impacts the, the character and the uh, uh, nature of people who live here and study here. It's, uh, it's very diverse too. Oh man, there's so much. Uh, I think the biggest things for me is I like the sense of camaraderie and just friendliness that everyone has. I also really like the diverse faculty that we have a chance to be educated by. Uh, it's very neat getting a sense of different ways people have had a chance to become educated, but also just their life experiences as well. 